Okay, we're at Peter Canning's house. It's the 26th of January 2012. This is the first pellet boiler coming in for the Berlin Model Neighborhood Program. And I'm just going to ask Peter some questions about how things are proceeding. Peter, I see this is your old boiler, the one that they're going to be removing. Yep. And can you tell us um, what the process is for this? Uh, well, basically, um, this is your indirect hot water heater that's off the boiler. That's staying. Um, the boiler will be going. This is the Budera's boiler, but that's out of here, so I won't be paying for oil anymore. And the new boiler will be coming in. Um, all pretty much all the other plumbing will be staying as it is and um, they'll just be changing this big unit right here and that should be so um, how what's the process for removing your old one and putting the new one in without losing you know without possibly your house cooling down well uh, as you see to the right there is um, the hopper and the hopper has been built and we're going to get the Hell, it's delivered tomorrow afternoon. I'm losing my side and then once they change the boiler over, we'll have fuel for the new boiler and we'll be off and running. So will they um, wait until tomorrow then to disconnect the current boiler? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Probably won't be done till Monday actually. I don't know about these guys, but they are calling for foul weather tomorrow and all. And That's right. Even the delivery. Um, is a little questionable. She's going to try to get here in the afternoon. So I'm kind of thinking that, you know, everything's going to be pretty much ready and probably will do the actual swap over of the boiler on Monday. But I don't know if that's what these guys are thinking or not. But So this is a lower hopper for yep. the... Yep, all the basements, or a lot of the basements in Berlin are low and mine included. It's only about six feet tall, so... This is one of the five foot nine hoppers that they have. And so you went, um, you went, you had the basement and the entire building weatherized first. Yes. Before you pursued this project. Yep, all along the walls. If you look, it's all then fiberglass. My uh, fiberglass foamed all along the walls. Um, they did a great job. It's been incredible. It's actually made the our basement more of a room now. It's actually a living space. Yeah, almost. I mean, you it knocked the moisture problem right down. We only have a small radiator here, and it keeps the whole basement warm and dry. So it's, everything's working out really well, and can't wait to get the boiler going. And did they do anything to your door, to your bulkhead? Not yet, but they, that's all coming. Okay, good. Yep, it's all coming. They're going to be putting a new door in there. Um, uh, I talked to Jamie Myers not too long ago, and uh, he's been very patient and all because we've been doing a lot. Yep. So he's been great working with us. Great. Yeah.